Guys, it's Dahlia Day. Anybody watch Fixer Upper? It's one of my favorite shows. I love Chip and Joanna. I've been to Magnolia in Waco, Texas. Guys, I just love them. Um, but Chip is famous for Demo Day. Well, today I feel like Chip Games. It is Dahlia Day. <laughs> okay, I know I'm crazy. Um, Dahlias are my favorite. Back there behind me, I have five raised beds. Three are planted already with numerous flowers. Two are reserved just for dahlias because they are glorious and hard producers and just give, 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 and just wait. You will understand in a moment. I mean, like, they're gorgeous. Um, and they're super easy. So here's the plan. Uh, I'm gonna kind of show you the basics of how to get started with dahlias. Uh, we're gonna till the soil a little bit. We're gonna dig our trenches. We're gonna lay out our tubers. Uh, and I am gonna put stakes in today because I think that the last couple years I've waited to stake and I feel like I injure tubers because you know, once they're in the ground, you kind of forget where you've placed things or the soil shifts a little bit. And if you jab a stake in there, you can damage it and then you lose it. So I'm gonna pre-stake. So that way, literally, I'm gonna be done with all my prep work. I'm gonna walk away today. And I just need nature to do its thing and they'll pop up. So if you're ready to see what growing dahlias is all like, stay tuned. We're gonna get into it right now. Dahlia day! Okay, I'll try to contain it. I can't promise, but I'll try. Okay. Um, when you purchase dahlia tubers, they'll normally come packaged in shavings like this. That's just to help regulate their temperature. And then when you pop them out, tubers look uh, like this in a variety of shapes and sizes. And they'll have markings on them for their variety name just to help you remember what they are for coloring and whatnot. But I wanted to take a moment and just show you the variety of sizes. I mean, you would think that something like this isn't going to grow as good as something like this possibly. But that's wrong. Dahlia tubers, as long as they have a viable eye, it doesn't matter their size or their shape, they're going to all sprout up and produce the same. And so I don't think that size matters when it comes to dahlias or that like shape. Like this one's kind of not as pretty. They're all going to grow just the same. So um, what you're trying to figure out when you lay these in is if you can find the eye, um, find an easy one to show okay this one's already started to sprout and so it has sprouted from its eye and see it's all like in a crook right in there so this is one tuber that's what i'm saying like things are just shaped funky if you can find the eye where they will sprout you want to put that facing up towards the sky but if not, just try to lay these flat. So you're not gonna put them in like this, you're gonna put them in like this, and they will germinate. Um, some other things to note, I use um, shims from like Lowe's or Home Depot and write their names because you know they're gonna be thrown away at the end of the season, but these typically last me. So this is just a shim with uh, Sharpie. I write the farm that it comes from, and then I write the variety. So um, I'm Crazy Lady, and I order from four different farms this year. I'm trying some out from um, Flower Hat, which is um, in Montana. I'll link all these guys up uh, Instagram so you guys can see them. So Flower Hat is in Montana. And then my local one, Three Cedars, is out on the west side by Shoe Farms. I've purchased um, flowers from their flower stand too, so you've seen them before. Uh, TW is Triple Wren. They're from Ferndale area. And then Twig and Vine is Conway, the growing kindness. And this is what her growing kindness looks like. So she always packages um, a dye tuber for you to give away. And when you order online, instead of like in a store, most farms will send you uh, like a growing guide of how to do it the best. Um, kind of in their suggestions and then our friends at Florette actually put together a growing guide So this is like a PDF file that you can download for free from their website I'll try to link as much of this as possible in the post below if you're actually into dahlias um, This growing guide is awesome because it's from start to finish how to 
prep your soil planting growing harvesting and then at the end of the year when you have all these you can dig these up and they will have multiplied and then instead of purchasing every year you could actually be saving and using your own tubers and sharing them with friends so let's get started So now that I marked my two rows, I actually came in with a hand trowel and dug deeper trenches. Um, you're supposed to plant your dahlias about three inches down. So now that I have my trenches, I'm going to start laying my tubers. I am going to space them a little bit closer than is recommended just because I've done it before and had okay success with it. And I overbought once again, so <laughs> trying to cram as much as I can in here. So I'm going to lay out my tubers and then I'll show you guys what I do before I place them inside. Okay, I have laid in my tubers with their stakes next to them for when I cover them up. I remember what they are since I have so many. But I've laid them all on their sides. So remember that when you plant lamb on your sides and then if you can find the eye where they're going to sprout, you want to face that towards the sun. If you can't, just put them in on their sides and they'll figure it out. They're <laughs> pretty good. All right, so now all I have left to do is literally cover those babies up. <laughs> cover them up. I have to steak in, oh, my favorite, Cafe Ole. She's, she's the queen of the dahlias. Okay, I'm gonna do that till everything and then I'm gonna come back in and put my support stakes in so that everything can just start growing around them. And then I'm done. You are not gonna water these guys until you see sprouts above the ground, little green leaves. Otherwise, these could potentially start to rot. And there's rain in our forecast for this week anyway, so and me adding extra water is not gonna help things. So I'm literally just gonna cover them, put the stakes in, and call it a day. I now have my stakes. These are these green things and the support stakes. When dahlias grow, they grow pretty tall and they need um, support. So eventually as they start growing, I will string twine around and keep growing up with it as it goes. So it doesn't have to like fall over and snap, it's supported. And um, I may get some taller ones depending on, because a few of these varieties are gonna grow pretty tall. But I'm done for today. Uh, they're all in, they're all under the ground, they're all marked, and they all have their support stakes. So now I just wait. So yeah, there we go. All right, hopefully that helps you. If you're interested in dahlias, they're pretty cheap. And then next year, um, you pretty much get like five to eight out of one on your own if you wanna go through the splitting process. So stay tuned and I'll give you some garden updates later on this spring.